miracles are proof of God's presence among His people. 2002 shall not be seen with her right eye. With her right eye. Right there, she can see clearly with her eye. From 2002, she's been blind. Come up. <laughs> are you glad for Jesus? Amen. <laughs> this man was involved in road traffic accidents a month ago. He had a speaker of eight bandages here. And he had a bandage on his shoulder. He couldn't suck up. He couldn't move his hand. Look at him moving the head. Brother Gibbs, 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 Brother Gibbs,
Every sick, put your hand where you're sick. I am not the healer, will never promise to be the healer. Put your hand where you're sick. I repeat these words, you see how you'll be healed. Say after me, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I agree with your son to this divine instruction. Heal me. Heal my body of this infirmity. Call that sickness by name. Heal me of this disease right now by your power in Jesus' name. As simple as that prayer, check your disease, check that pain, it's gone. I know it is, I know my name he instructed me to tell you that I'm not a healer. Look at that pain, look at that lump, look at your body, you will not find it. Say that sickness is gone by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. All who are sick, he just gave me that divine instruction. Find your way to the front and give the glory to God. You came sick before now, you see how simple healing is. Rush to the front, to my left, to my right, in the satellite churches, to the left, to the right of the altar. Miracles have happened. Blind eyes, just put your hand on the blind eyes, they will open. Deaf ears, put your ears, and then you see your ears open. Every pain is gone. Check yourself, you will not find it. Any sickness, I don't need to call the name, and you pray that prayer, rush to the front. Miracles have happened. Check yourself, there will be no trace of that sickness in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Do what you couldn't do. And just walk to the front and give the testimony to the glory of God. Don't stop singing. Just sing glory, glory to Amen. Ah. Somebody's toothache is healed. Somebody's tooth problem is healed. Somebody's pain on your shoulder is healed. Somebody mass in your womb, you are healed. Just walk to the front. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony belongs to God. He is my He said, no, I'm doing what you're doing because Can you, feel you give the glory to me. Every pastor, I heard him clearly, take a piece of paper, write the figure of members you want. Write the number you want. I want our church to grow to 1,000. Write on a piece of paper. Allow him. It's a strange day. This is not my, it's not part of my, it's so strange. I can't tell you everything is, is happening here. Something is happening. I can't explain all to you. Just write the figure you want. You pastor, write the figure. And allow him to flow. Just write the figure of the attendance. How you want the church to grow. Oh, uh, uh, write the figure. Write the name of the church and the uh, figure you want. Miracles are happening without struggle.
I see the number of persons that came out for healing? Did I shout? Huh? <laughs> I'm not the one doing it. I just hear him and follow his instruction. Yes, sir? Pastor? Yes. From birth, this young man has never seen clearly. When from he looks at an object, he tears. There's tearing and pains. He came to service today with redness of the eye and tearing. Just as you were ministering, he said the power of God went through him. He can now see clearly. And also, he came with chest pain. But the chest pain has suddenly disappeared. Will you give Jesus a big hand? You are not clapping for him. You know why you clap for him? I did nothing. I did nothing. Give that hand to the Holy Spirit. Put it together for him. Hallelujah. From birth, he has had that problem. And if you watch me, I did nothing. Did I do anything? No. I just want to prove that I'm not the doer. The reason why we don't get results is because we think we are the ones doing it. That's why most of us don't get results. Or knowing in our heart, they say, I've read so much. I'm going to display today, and he leaves you alone. <laughs> He said, I'm going to display what I've read. He said, okay, go and, go, go and display. You'll be in it. You've read. Thank you. Just move the A from the E-A. Yeah, I don't E-A-D. Just move the A. It's in it. But once you allow him, you'll see results that you've never imagined. See, I healed people. Just to make the way. If you, that, the way he's healing, that's how you know that your mind already has something for wealth creation. Hope you know that. I don't know if you know that. Just where you saw healing, that's the only point we, we missed this weekend. You miss billions. Already, he has touched your mind for wealth. So this weekend, you have to be very sensitive. Very, even in this service, say, Holy Ghost, that instruction, I'm waiting. And when you're conscious, he will give it to you. Pop. Some of you will just resign from the nonsense jobs you're doing because you employ people. You will do what? After this weekend, you employ people. Yeah. You know, anybody in this service that is not a multi-billionaire should be flocked. Because he's at work here. Creating wealth. Students will while in third year, you will be counting your millions. Yeah. Before you graduate, you already have people working for you. Yeah. Before you graduate, you will have people working who are already master degree holders. In your third year, you employ them to work for you. Yeah. And finish school to fulfill our righteousness. Yeah. Yes, sir. Pastor, as God does for one, he does for all. This is a very similar testimony. Pastor, since birth, he had had issues with his eyes. He went to the hospital. He was told he had glaucoma. Glaucoma is a condition where there is raised intraocular pressure. Pastor, is like hypertension. But while hypertension is in the blood, this is raised pressure in the eye. It is a very common cause of blindness. He has not been able to see clearly and he had been in pain ever since then. But pastor, for the first time since he was born, the pains have disappeared. He can see very You clearly. can see clearly? You can see clearly? Yes, sir. Will you give Jesus? Will you give Jesus a... You are clapping for the king of peace. This is miracle made simple. Miracle made what? Miracle made simple. Glaucoma is a complicated disease. People go blind. There was a man called Pamo that used to be very popular. He went blind. I can say now, known in this town, blind before he died. It has destroyed many people. Are you hearing? You happy? You're happy? Yes. Just move your hand like this and say thank you. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't say thank you, David. I'm not the two. I say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. You're crying? Don't cry. Just say thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Yes. Pastor. Yes. She came here with a month history of toothache, severe toothache. She has not been able to chew on that part of her jaw, not even drinking water. Each time she chewed or drank water, she experienced a lot of ache, very severe ache. But while the administration was going on, she received her healing. The point, she went back to try and drink water. 
And after drinking the water, there was no pain. No pain. pain everything had no pain. pain. Give Jesus a shout of praise. What a night. What a night. God is so good. Yes. Pastor. Yes. The lady here. She's crying. What the matter? She's crying. She said it's tears of joy. Yes, go ahead. Pastor, for the past three months, she has not seen her period. For the past three months, for the past three months, they call it secondary amenorrhea. She has not seen her period. Said, but right in this service, the power of God touched her. Her period Will you give Jesus? Will you give? Hey, listen. <laughs> Can I tell you something? God is humbling me, and humbling you, humbling all of us. See how simple the prayer was, huh? Eh? Very simple prayer. And he healed them. I didn't shout. Did I shout? No. Now, you know what God is trying to prove? That you that said the one world creation, he has already answered you to. So all you do, please, I beg of you, be very sensitive this weekend. Today. Because the instruction must come. Just when he healed them, that's how he gave you the mind to create wealth. He has given you, now it is for you to know what to do. If you look for a job after today, ah, ah, after today, he said, I'm looking for money, job. Then he didn't come to this service. If you came to this service, you will not look for a job after. You will be employing people. You can't be working in that small place. You will employ that place, you are too big for that place. Too. Yes, sir. See somebody. She didn't struggle. Messi born with glaucoma. Eyes healed. Yes. Go ahead, doctors. Pastor, he came here with 23-year-old history of asthma. Very severe asthma. And while even in this service, he had an attack. He was this meek and kept on praying that God should take care of his illness. During ministration, he noticed that the dyspnea, the breathlessness, everything disappeared completely. Yes. Look at the healer with, with the doctor. Look at the healer. Will you give Jesus a shout of praise? Hallelujah. We give God the glory and praise. Oh, God has healed you. God enjoy your life. Pastor. Yes, doctor. Mama came to service with five years history of arthritis on the left side of her leg. She said even today she would tilt to the affected side of the leg while walking. But as the ministration was going on, she felt the power of God went through her. Right now she can Mama, walk. Mama, you she can, can walk, do, walk, do what you couldn't do. Do something you couldn't do with her. You couldn't do that before? Enough you, do, you couldn't do that before? Eh, yeah, she couldn't do that before. Because of arthritis, give Jesus, Lord, give him a big hand. Are you clapping for the one with it? There is something I learned today, I can't tell you. I learned something today. Very profound. God is humble. He can humble you. Oh, what peace we are. It for me and all what these prayers. Yes, doctor. Pastor. Yes. He is a pastor. Yes. And for over 20 years, he had never had his two nostrils opened at the same time. Excuse me? That you're a man of God. You've never had your two nostrils opened for 20 years. More than. More than 20 years. Yes, sir. So if one is blocked, Jordan. only one will be open. Yes. For the first time, the two, the two open. Yes. You are not giving Jesus. <laughs> are you clapping for him? Are you clapping for the King of Kings? Oh, what is the space we bear? That's a man of God, 20 something years. He has never had the two open at the same time. There's the first time. Hey, there's a strange anointing in this service. Say, Holy Spirit. 
Everybody, please flow with me. Flow very say, say Holy Spirit. Tomorrow. I agree with your son that whatever I ask right now, you will give to me. I don't doubt it. You have given me wisdom to create wealth. You have healed my body. Now I ask in Jesus' name. Now place a demand. There will be a miracle. Place a demand. There will be a miracle. There will be a miracle. Place a demand. Ask him of anything direct. Say, Holy Spirit, this is what I ask. Don't pray like before. Just say, Holy Spirit, this is what I ask. Sharp. Sharp and direct. Holy Spirit. Ask for a new level of wisdom. A new level of wisdom. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, it's, it's a time for prayer so anything can happen. And it's already happening. It's already... How many are getting set for today? Are you, woman, are, you, are you in line with him? You are going home with a testimony. Yes. Miracles are happening everywhere because you have your own already. How many know you have your own already? Glory to God. It's a night you cannot afford to let anyone stay in the house. Anything can happen this season. Yes, sir. Pastor? Yes. For six years, this woman had a lump in her breast. Not a lump, a hard mass with pain. She went to the hospital and she was told that she had breast cancer. Pastor, she has been feeling that mass for that mass ever since. But it is no longer there. The pain Excuse is me. no longer there. Excuse me. Pastor, she is free. Lady, press that ready place. Where was it? Where was it? It is this side. Uh, press it. Press it. Uh, press that place. Nothing? Yes. Nothing? Yeah, Will you give Jesus? Are you not clapping for him? <laughs> hey, hold it. Hold it. God wants to humble you. Today is the simplest prayer I've ever prayed. True? The simplest prayer. Cancer out of the woman's breast. Without any shouting. Say, Holy Spirit. Do something, do something unique in my life. In my life. Today, today, I agree with your son that today, I want a special touch from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's a strange night. Anything can. Whoever missed tonight, tell the person, the person missed a lot. Sometimes people don't know the move of God. They can miss divine timing. You can be close to a man of God and not know when God wants to visit you. Everybody was touching Jesus. Close people were touching him. But one woman came with a heart. Tonight, I can tell you, it's a unique night. Oh, yeah. Yes, Dr. Pastor. This young man is a born sickler. Usually they come down with crisis. He said for two weeks now, he has had bone pain crisis. He, held, he holds his hand whenever he's walking. He came today with the same pain. But as you we were ministering, he said the power of God has hit him. The pain has stopped. He can now walk without Boy, holding his hand. Put your hand on your head. Put your hand. I say Holy Spirit. Put your spirit. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Turn. turn. Say turn. Turn. My genotype, my genotype from SS, from SS to A, to A. I agree uh, with your son, with your son, and I believe, and I believe it is done. It is done. In Jesus name, In Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Go to your doctor and come back with a testimony. Move your hand. No pain. No pain. No pain. Give Jesus a big man. Oh, we love you. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Another lump also disappeared. Oh, Jesus. From this woman, it was a bloodless surgery. Hold it. Pastor, this woman one year ago started feeling excruciating pain in her anus. And when she went to the hospital, they said she had colorectal cancer. And she's been suffering from it. They offered that surgery. She refused. One month ago, because of the pain, she succumbed to the surgery, which she has not gone. Although she was supposed to go two weeks ago, she said she wait for this divine encounter. She said since one month, she eats anagestic like food. 
Yes, the pain does not go down. Right in this service, Pastor, the pain disappeared. If she starts, she we will give Jesus a shout of praise. You are the miracle working. Your name is God. Yeah. 